What's going on, everybody? Today we are taking a look at the Mr. Scary. See if I get it to focus. And from the Mr. Scary uh, from Legendary Tones. Now, this has been on loan to me for quite some time by uh, Truck Driver Sean. So, a huge shout out to him. But uh, we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the Mesa Single Rectifier. We're going to see how well it works. Uh, you know, if there's any kind of major noticeable differences. Um, and just for those of you who are wondering, there is a 12 AT7 on this side and a 12 AX7 on this side. So basically, we're going to be adding in an extra gain stage uh, into this amp. So let's see how well it does. I'm going to get everything hooked up, uh, place another camera down so that you guys can kind of see what we're doing uh, over here in this area. Um, so this way you guys can follow along. So let me get everything set up and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got everything hooked up. We're gonna do a quick playthrough uh, with just the clean channel, uh, and then we'll switch over to the crunch channel just so that we get a baseline of what is going on uh, with the amp. So we're gonna be using my PRS 245 SE into the Mesa. Um, I do have my, uh, let's see, my Klon KTR is gonna be plugged up for a boost if we need it. It is currently off. Uh, that is going into the Mojo Tone ISO cab, and let's go ahead and set you guys. Uh, yeah, we'll set you guys right there. Hopefully, you guys can see it, and let's get into. So I went ahead and I moved the camera a little bit to make it easier for you guys to see, but the gain on the Mr. Scary is currently at zero. Uh, so I will dial it up, you know, kind of as we go, get into this. Uh, so for right now, it's all the way down. The deep switch is also off. Uh, we'll play with that as well as we get into it. The controls are all at noon on the amp. So all the, all the control, the EQ, everything is at noon. We'll do a quick playthrough on the clean channel, then we'll go into the pushed, and then we'll get into the high gain, and if we need to, we'll put a pedal in front of it, and we'll see how, uh, we'll see how well the amp reacts to it. So let's go ahead and we'll get into it. Thank you. 
All right, you guys, there you have it. That is going to be the Mr. Scary Legendary Tones Hot Mod. Um, yeah, this thing is really awesome, dude. Uh, I think David over at Legendary Tones has got a great product here. Um, uh, and for those of you who don't know, this is just a simple uh, socket extension. Uh, you know, with Mesa and some of the other brands out there, the tube sockets are recessed down inside. So that extension just allows you to get down in there. Uh, and of course, this wire, it just simply goes onto a screw or a bolt or anything that has ground access to the chassis uh, that grounds it into the chassis that way. So uh, overall, I think it's awesome. Uh, it really gives that extra little bit of life to the uh, Mesa. And I think it adds that extra uh, oomph that the single rectifier doesn't have. Now, I will say in the up position with the deep switch on, uh, this thing sounds incredible. It's got a lot of fullness to the to the tone. Uh, I prefer the the gain on this thing right around noon, one two o'clock, kind of in that general ballpark. Uh, I think that's where it sounds best. When you start going uh, past that, like uh, into three o'clock and and further, uh, there's too much too much compression sound to me. Uh, but anyways, you know the single rectifier is also a little tighter than like the dual rectifier um, and the triple. Yeah, I don't know, man. I really enjoy my my single rectifier, and this thing just adds that extra little to it. Uh, you also, in, and I'll note it in the video here, uh, but we used the Klon KTR, and then I also switched over to the Pepper's Pedal, uh, the Dirty Tree. Let's see if I can lean in over here. This thing will show it. Yep, that's my purple and gold Dirty Tree. So, uh, you know, I had that going, and I think it sounded best with that style of overdrive. I have it in the um, TC electronics mode and the TC mode uh, versus the DT. But yeah, tell me in the comments below what you guys thought overall of adding that into the Mesa single rectifier. Mine is a 1999 or an early 2000 uh, Rectoverb 50. It's a series one uh, and it's one of my favorite amps. It's, it's just an incredible sounding amp for me. So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.